Thousands of Cubans looking for the American dream, attempting that very dangerous 90-mile journey across the ocean. They're coming ashore in Florida in the biggest wave we've seen in five years. The Coast Guard intercepting about 4,000 rafters this year alone. Phil Keating has been out to sea with the Coast Guard, joins us now in Key West with the story. Hi, Phil. Hi, Shannon. Here in Key West, we are 90 miles from Cuba across the Florida Straits. For the past 20 years, Cuban-American immigration policy has been special. Wet foot, dry foot. If you can make it to land, you can stay. But every day on the impoverished communist island is so terrible, it makes crossing those dangerous 90 miles of ocean more and more tempting. Regular patrols of the Coast Guard cutter Raymond Evans now routinely involve rescuing Cuban migrants adrift at sea, desperate for food and water. Interdiction is a nearly daily occurrence in the Straits of Florida. Cuban migration is at a five-year high, up nearly 40 percent over last year, and the majority of interdictions at sea reveal Cubans crammed on rickety homemade boats and floating on rafts. It's easy to empathize with the migrants because of the hardships faced on the long and arduous trip and the dangers associated with the trip itself. When the Raymond Evans brought these four on board, they were halfway into the 90-mile journey, engine broken, supplies depleted, and floating helplessly for three days. Now in Miami, Alberto Alaman Sanchez made it by raft on his ninth attempt. In Cuba, you go to bed, and you go to bed worried because the next day, reality is, what are you going to eat and what are you going to do? You know, 90 miles from Cuba to Key West may sound tempting, but having rocked and rolled and bounced on that 154-foot Coast Guard cover for the past three days, it makes it evidently clear how perilous and dangerous it is on those homemade boats and rafts that many of these Cuban migrants are using to try to make it to Florida. And by the way, Shannon, the number of Cubans that end up lost at sea is a number that's unknown. Yeah, and it's amazing that they're willing to take that chance. It says a lot about where they're trying to escape. Um, it's very sad exactly. and dangerous. Phil, thank you. All right.